Unit 2. At the airport. Part 1. Listen and circle the correct answers. Number 1. Listen to the men. The woman is at the check in counter. She is giving her passport to an agent. She has one large suitcase. What is the woman doing? Number two. Listen to the pilot. We are about to take off soon. Please fasten your seatbelt and keep your chair upright. Please stay seated until the seatbelt sign is off. What does the pilot tell the passengers to do? Number three. Listen to the woman. The man is at the airport. He is walking through the security checkpoint. Where is the man? Part two. Listen and answer the questions. Number one. Listen to the conversation between a flight attendant and a passenger. Would you like something to drink? Yes. May I have some soda, please? Would you like some ice, too? No, just the soda is fine. What did the passenger ask for? A. Soda with ice. B. Soda with no ice. C. Water with no ice. Number two. Listen to the conversation between an officer and a traveler. Good afternoon. What is the purpose of your visit? I am here to travel. For how long are you going to stay? About two weeks. Where are you going to stay? At the Genesis Hotel. What did the officer not ask the traveler about? A. The time of departure. B. Where he will stay. C. The purpose of his visit. Part 3. Listen and answer the questions. Number 1. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Mom. It's Rick. I just arrived at the airport, and I just need to get my bags from the baggage claim area. Then I am going to take the shuttle bus home. It will probably take at least an hour. I can't wait to be home. See you soon. Why did Rick call his mom? A. To tell her that he is coming home soon. B. To tell her that he is leaving in a few hours. C. To ask her to pick him up from the airport. Number two. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Joseph. It's Miranda. I'm still at the airport. My flight has been delayed due to heavy snow. I'm not sure if I can leave tonight. My cell phone battery is dying too. I am going to find a place to charge my phone. If not, I will try to call you from a public phone before I get on board. Why did Miranda call Joseph? A. To ask him where she could charge her cell phone. B. To tell him about the flight delay. C. To ask him to use the public phone. Part 4. Listen and answer the questions. Listen to the story about Sally. Sally's family was flying to Hawaii to visit her uncle today. Sally was very excited because it was her first time traveling on an airplane. Mom, I'm very excited, Sally said to her mom at the airport. The airport was huge and crowded. She could see many people from different countries. Can I look around, Mom? Sally asked her mom after passing the security checkpoint. Okay, but don't go too far. We will be boarding in 30 minutes, so make sure to come to gate 12.
Sally walked around and saw a group of airplanes in line outside. Wow, they are huge! I wonder how those big planes can fly in the sky, Sally said to herself. A few minutes later, Sally's family got on the plane and the plane flew into the air. Sally kept looking out the window, wishing that she could touch the clouds. Then she slowly dozed off. Wake up, Sally. We are here. Sally's dad shook her awake. Where are we? Sally asked, rubbing her eyes. We are in Hawaii. Let's get off the plane and go find your uncle. He should be here to pick us up. Sally jumped out of her seat right away. I can't believe we are in Hawaii already. Do you think Uncle Kim has brought his baby with him, Mom? I don't know, but we will find out soon. Sally couldn't wait to see her uncle and the newborn baby. When I meet the baby, I'm going to tell him about how wonderful my first flight has been, thought Sally. Number 1. Why was Sally very excited? A. It was her first time flying on an airplane. B. Her uncle was visiting her family. C. She was going to Hawaii for her winter vacation. Number 2. What did Sally think about the airport? A. It was very big. B. It was quiet. C. It was small. Listen and answer the questions. Listen to the teacher giving a lesson about air traffic controllers. There are many people working to help us travel safely on airplanes. Air traffic controllers play an important role. Since there aren't any traffic lights or signals in the sky, we need air traffic controllers to coordinate the movement of air traffic to help airplanes keep a safe distance from each other. Air traffic controllers monitor air traffic closely to effectively organize the flow in order to avoid any delays and keep passengers safe. Air traffic controllers must have a good memory and the ability to comprehend information quickly. They also need to be quick at making decisions. Becoming an air traffic controller is not easy, but with years of training, anyone who is responsible can become a great air traffic controller. Number 3. What job is the teacher describing? A. A pilot. B. A flight attendant. C. An air traffic controller. Number 4. What skill must air traffic controllers have? A. A good memory. B. The ability to sing. C. A driver's license. Number 5. What do air traffic controllers do? A. Fix airplanes. B. Serve passengers snacks on a flight. C. Check the movements of airplanes. Part 1. Listen and fill in the blanks. Number 1. She is giving her passport to an agent. Number 2. Please fasten your seatbelt and keep your chair upright. Number 3. 
He is walking through the security checkpoint. Part 2 Listen and fill in the blanks. Number 1 Would you like something to drink? Yes. May I have some soda, please? Number 2 Good afternoon. What is the purpose of your visit? I am here to travel. Part 3 Listen and fill in the blanks. Number 1 Hi, Mom. It's Rick. I just arrived at the airport, and I just need to get my bags from the baggage claim area. Then I am going to take the shuttle bus home. It will probably take at least an hour. I can't wait to be home. See you soon. Number 2 Hi, Joseph. It's Miranda. I'm still at the airport. My flight has been delayed due to heavy snow. I'm not sure if I can leave tonight. My cell phone battery is dying, too. I am going to find a place to charge my phone. If not, I will try to call you from a public phone before I get on board. Part 4 Listen and fill in the blanks. Number 1 Sally's family was flying to Hawaii to visit her uncle today. Sally was very excited because it was her first time traveling on an airplane. Mom, I'm very excited, Sally said to her mom at the airport. The airport was huge and crowded. She could see many people from different countries. Can I look around, Mom? Sally asked her mom after passing the security checkpoint. Okay, but don't go too far. We will be boarding in 30 minutes, so make sure to come to gate 12. Sally walked around and saw a group of airplanes in line outside. Wow, they are huge. I wonder how those big planes can fly in the sky, Sally said to herself. A few minutes later, Sally's family got on the plane and the plane flew into the air. Sally kept looking out the window, wishing that she could touch the clouds. Then she slowly dozed off. Listen and fill in the blanks. Number 2 There are many people working to help us travel safely on airplanes. Air traffic controllers play an important role. Since there aren't any traffic lights or signals in the sky, we need air traffic controllers to coordinate the movement of air traffic to help airplanes keep a safe distance from each other. Air traffic controllers monitor air traffic closely to effectively organize the flow in order to avoid any delays and keep passengers safe. Air traffic controllers must have a good memory and the ability to comprehend information quickly. They also need to be quick at making decisions. Becoming an air traffic controller is not easy, but with years of training, anyone who is responsible can become a great air traffic controller. You finish the listening part.